welcome to a fresh episode of Hyundai Tucson presents Bosses Day Out from the Silicon Valley of India, Bengaluru. This is a city full of bosses. Now on this show, we introduce you to a new generation of leaders, new age CEOs whose revolutionary ideas are having a huge impact on the country. They share with us their personal stories, which we hope will inspire you and teach us how we can make a difference in this fast changing dynamic world. This is where we learn about what goes into the making of leaders in this young India. And our ride for today, the Hyundai Tucson. Now today on Bosses Day Out, we're going to meet an absolutely incredible, fascinating individual. At the age of 31, Roman Saini is one of the founders of Unacademy, which is India's largest online learning platform. It's worth $2 billion, it has 50 million users worldwide, it supports 18,000 educators. But Roman Saini's journey to get where he has is the thing that has been absolutely fascinating and incredible. At the age of 16, he passed his MBBS exam and he became a doctor with AIMS. Imagine that, at the age of 16, one of the youngest doctors. Even the creators of Doogie Hauser could not have made up the story of his journey. And one would have thought he'd be satisfied with that. However, he even wrote a paper at the age of 18, a medical paper. But then, at the age of 22, he took the UPSC exam and became the country's youngest IS officers. He even served in Madhya Pradesh. But that is also not where his journey ended. So after becoming an IS officer, which is one of the most coveted things in the country, which millions of people dream about, he then quit that and founded an academy. And as I said today, it's one of the most successful online learning platforms in the country. So I, for one, am very excited to meet Mr. Saini because I want to hear about his journey from him, what motivates him and what are his plans for the future. forward to our chat and hearing about your journey. Yeah, very excited. <laughs> well, thank you so much for doing this. Nice weather, slightly rainy. It's and always I like it'll be that. Like 12 months a year, it's like that. Raining non-stop for the last five days. Do you like cricket? Yeah, yeah. So do you try to come here and play in the mornings as well, cricket? Yeah, sometimes when I like have a long day. With all your neighboring hour, pals? Half hours. Yeah. They'll join some kids of this people. Oh, good, They'll it's join. like a work and play, etc. Tell me about this journey because I've never heard of anyone who's, you know, become a doctor, then given that up, become an IS officer, and then given that up as well because these are the two ideals in our country, doctor, IS officer. So I think uh, studies, they come little naturally to me. Uh, uh, it's like uh, I don't have to work that hard as compared to others. That's what I feel, I I'm not sure about it. But yeah, uh, I don't think uh, this is not like today's ideal. I think there are a lot of other career opportunities. Like sure, when I talk to yeah, when yes. I talk to like students right now, no one wants to become a like doctor engineer. They want to become a YouTuber, a social <laughs> media influencer, or an educator. So yeah, in my time, doctors in my family, so it was easy for me to. And at the age of sixteen. Yeah, that was like uh, thanks to my mother. Like I went to school early, so could finish my twelfth at sixteen. Wow. So, yeah, that was the... And you wrote a paper, I believe, at the age of 18, a medical paper. Yeah, that was fun. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, we were doing this uh, comparison of morphine with ketorolac. So, they are like two painkillers, ah. which we give for, like, cancer patients and also. Yeah, it was fun and imps. Let's see where you work. Looking forward to seeing the Unacademy of yeah, office. Yeah, it's an amazing office. Let's go. Right, so then you took the UPSC exam and you did your training as an IS officer and that is when you started making your videos. When I got selected, this was 12th June 2014, like I was sleeping the entire day <laughs> and uh, because I was working as a doctor. So, I result came out and I was 
sleeping and when I woke up there were like 300 missed calls on my phone. And wow. I thought like either something has happened wrong and then I realized that I got selected. So after one month, uh, I got bored because uh, like what to do and then I resigned from my uh, like JR ship in Ames hmm. on 30th June and then I started teaching for like for an academy in July. Like on my birthday, I, I remember 20th July, that's what I was doing, I was creating videos. <laughs> Uh, in 2014 and then for one month I made like around 30 videos so suddenly they got like a lot hmm. of traction and an academy's YouTube channel like it had like seven eight thousand subscribers so suddenly it became like 20 30 thousand subscribers that's huge at that time this I'm talking 2014 I used to create two videos per week just to that was not the idea to make it very big but the like aspirants showed so much love so I thought like let's give them back and no and one you've just been it. through the experience you had your exactly. first hand sort of uh, you know ideas and obviously when you were studying you must have and like you said you realized that people who are living in far flung areas don't have that same access yeah yeah so exactly like uh, I thought like uh, there is a huge huge information mismatch there was a knowledge arbitrage hmm. which uh, like people who are outside Delhi they were at a huge disadvantage so just wanted to bridge that gap 10 December 2015 is when the an academy website went live and now there are a lot of players in this particular market but when you moved in if you could tell us that time what was it like it was completely empty it was like wild west and like there was nothing at all it was like California gold rush like you can just come and do it now obviously a lot of people have copied our playbook and a uh, lot of it, it tend to become like a commodity but our product is still 10x better but at that time it, there was absolutely so you had a first mover advantage yeah, yeah massive like for three four years there was absolutely no one an academy itself empowers thousands of educators they create videos every single day so an academy was on youtube and then you convert then you had people move on to an app so how did you encourage that or were people very open to moving on and um, you know if you could tell us a bit about sure. that whole so conversion. basically like YouTube is for like let's say when you are an entry level aspirant and you're just inquiring about hmm. the exam okay what is a defense exam what is SSC what is bank what is hmm. CAT what is UPSC and then when you show some interest let's say you watch 10 20 videos serious aspirants when they mature in their journey of uh, wanting to crack the exam even more so what they'll do is they'll look for some dedicated apps and platforms so that's where like uh, an academy will come because once you are on an academy the chances of you getting distracted or watching some random content is like zero how much have you studied what's your streak so in an academy there are a lot of such like 20 30 such features amazing features there is an academy compete where you will literally in like one minute know where you stand in india in that specific exam so these are all the features where which which are not available in youtube because it is not an education platform it's a video platform and video can be of anything so when they realize that oh this is like 100x better than just uh, studying hmm. on YouTube that's when they themselves migrate organically because the product is literally like 10x better than anything out there. So you launched this product and then you know uh, back in 2015 and then now in 29, 2020 you have the pandemic happening and that itself has become you know when I mean those two three years that everybody is locked down is when a lot of this online exploded completely so tell us about you know you must have seen a huge explosion and but going forward what has it been like yeah so first of all like a lot of players started to become online because of pandemic hmm. like they thought like their offline business is shut so there is no option but to become online an academy was not like that at all like yeah, you were already yeah, in that space. 2015, we believed that online will become big. And uh, so we were ready for that opportunity and it was ripe for our taking. And then we grew like massively uh, during that time. We like we have like 800,000 paid subscribers who are paid to us. So that for JE and NEET, we have opened a lot of hmm. offline centers. And like uh, we have opened in like Kota, uh, Lucknow, Indore. We are opening it in like Jaipur, Chandigarh. So you're doing and, uh, that as well. Yeah, as a part we are. Of that. We are opening offline, and we are already opened from June this year. We realized that. See, ultimately, it's not about online, offline, or mix, or hybrid, or whatever. You have to do whatever is best for your learners right. or customers. So whatever they want. Uh, tell us a bit about you know being this uh, startup and uh, getting funding, and now you you're over 3.4 billion, you know, valuation, etc. So what are the challenges you face? So it, it's about relentlessness. I think a lot of people take it for granted. A lot of people raised a lot of funding uh, in 2019, 2020, like it was. Uh, but then you realize it's not just about funding. You have to make sure that you improve your unit economics. So that's a bit hard. At the end of the day, all businesses are about generating profit mm. and free cash flows. So at an academy, yeah, it's good to know that we have raised 800 million. We are at 3.4 billion. 
but ultimately we want to make it into a sustainable organization which transcends us so like it should become like a generational organization which is it acts as a, like a pillar uh, where like uh, it's like the company for education hmm. yeah growth is also important hmm. but if you don't fix all this then like uh, it's not a sustainable business you keep raising a lot and then you can't do a, like a successful ipo and if you can't like do all that so then what's the point of starting it in the first place so we want to like uh, take it to the next level mature level like there are so many good business houses in india generational companies hmm. which endure even after the promoters are gone it's been like a lot of up and down journey but overall it was very satisfying if you sign up for one startup one decade will go just like that so you'll get maybe two three hmm. opportunities like that so you have to be very humble and uh, very respectful to your stakeholders and do right by all of them tell us about these educators how does that work and uh, you have lot of people is it just in india in other places as well so uh, right now our test prep is primarily focused on india we have done experiments in indonesia and brazil as well and we plan to expand it outside but right now primarily it's india so these educators like unlike uh, like earlier organization even online what they used to do is these educators will come to an office they'll teach from an office and then they'll go back to their homes but then mm-hmm. technically it's not online so we gave them freedom of work like and they can work from anywhere they just need a laptop and a pen tab so an academy truly started that now others are also doing it and um, you're teaching all these ias aspirants and uh, mbbs aspirants etc mm-hmm. and in this country when you think about it it's it's you know you have so many you have lakhs of them trying of course only very few are going to manage to get in it just makes you think also about this obsession that we have with you know everybody's taking exam after exam and um you know so what are your thoughts on that no exams are there like obviously the like uh, like statistically number of aspirants are much higher mm. than the number of seats but we are also working on like other things for example there is a product called relevel Hmm. so wherein you don't need to take an exam exam per se if you are good at some skills hmm. let's say you are good at uh, business development or graphic designing etc you can just give our exam so to speak and if you have a good score then we'll connect you to companies and uh, then you get placed so obviously private sector will have to expand massively wow. in job creation okay. so it's we are not this just is something you've just started or it's yeah it's there. been there for like last uh, 12 months i see technically we've just started because one year is nothing in like yes. uh, startup so it will become very okay, big okay so that is also your that's wonderful so you're providing opportunities to people in yeah because certain... ultimately the number of uh, as you rightly pointed out like in upsc 700 2000 people will get selected mm. and uh, on an average 1 million people will apply so mm. 9 lakh 99000 people will get disappointed it's a statistic so yeah it is what it is i mean yeah so lot of opportunities are being created in red sector india's gdp will grow massively wow. it's around 3.3 trillion right now so it will become like 10 trillion in next uh, 10 to 15 years if i had to take a guess so when that expands obviously most of this gains will come from the private sector and it's not just like startups lot of small business owners msmes etc so if these students will have the right skills and lot of free courses are available lot of paid courses are available so if you have the right will you can learn these skills and easily make like 80000 1 lakh per month uh, if you are willing and able to do it wow so that's yeah, wonderful too. yeah so the most of these jobs uh, i think will get created uh, and if you are placed right they will give you like work from home remote uh, flexible timings gig work gig economy is going to be very big where you take a project you do freelance work and then you chill for one week and then you work for one month and so on so a lot of new things is going to come up like i am 100% sure i am very bullish on india and its future yeah all right we want to hear more about your plans for the future for an academy for the moment we'll slip into a short break you're watching hyundai to so presents bosses day out stay with us Welcome back you're watching Hyundai Tucson presents Bosses Day Out and we're in conversation with an academy co-founder Roman Seni well Roman tell us talking about education because primarily you know an academy is all about education are you working with the government anywhere because again as you said curriculums are outdated it's such a huge challenge and we have such a young population in this country 
and if we can only get them the right you know the education the skill set that they need uh, you know help them along the way there's there's so much that can be achieved and as you said you're bullish on india so tell us about that yeah we work a lot with government uh, as you rightly pointed out uh, most people can't afford the paid courses no matter what is the price yeah. they don't even have smartphones and data you know that problem is getting solved now but 5 years ago they didn't even have data that was a huge issue so we have signed a lot of mous like i personally went with delhi government like uh, delhi police so 50000 families we gave them like free access to education so all the delhi police personnel were there we signed it with itpb also recently uh, we have signed it with multiple governments like uh, like 10 plus governments across the states so wherein they identify the right talent and we provide them like uh, everything end to end scholarships etc recently we also signed uh, something called a shikshodaya so it's a moment when i get with girl child so okay. uh, lakhs of girl child who can't access education across like domains whether you are in school whether you are in college or preparing for an exam etc so we are taking end to end ownership of their studies so we have done a lot and we will keep doing a lot whatever their needs are their specific needs are so yeah we are providing that to them so we have reached I'll be going to the third floor. Okay. Like an academy is spread out across multiple floors. All right, so this is an academy. Yeah. This is our reception area. Cracking 2022. This is our mantra. Cracking 2022. We have around 700, 800 folks. I'll show you. I'll show you. So what is this area? So this is my team, like graphy, X, content growth. And that's the HR team that sits over there. Okay. These are our YouTube trophies, which is there. Oh. This is my office. This is your office. Yeah, please come. Thank you. So you were talking about, you know, how. It- Uh, how do you you know help students since you're working across the country what what is the thought process on that like yeah english used to be like the major language we have a lot of vernacular content and uh, on youtube also we see that a uh, lot of these up and coming educators slash youtubers they are neither teaching in hindi nor in english so lot of like regional content is getting very powerful and but the students then take the exams so let's say i i come from north india so hindi is my mother tongue so Yes, I will write the exam in English, but uh, when I teach, to help in understanding. Yeah, so even when I t- I used to teach, I used to mix Hindi with English. So it is like it's better. Like the the keywords can be in English, but you receive it in a better form. Like if you if someone is talking in your mother tongue, and yes, in some cases they also give it in their uh, mother tongue as well. So you can write the exam in Hindi, Gujarati, etc. All the scheduled language you have to conduct the exams. Uh, all these topics just to help them understand better it helps them that if it's in it their... just grasp better if you talk in your mother tongue it's just it's just so much better to understand all right and so now tell us about what is you know your looking forward 5 years what is the plan what is the game plan for uh, an academy so we have a lot of new initiatives <laughs> like there is online test prep which is going on so obviously that we are also planning to launch like a lot of centers offline centers we also have prep ladder which helps the doctors to become specialist and super specialist so that's also one of the focus area we have to make it very big so there are like multiple initiatives we are not like a one product company so uh, as an organization we believe in lot of experiments like a lot of failure like if you read that quote is there it is not the critic who counts and so it's a very very famous quote the man in the arena it's called ah. like you can like uh, like either you know defeat or at least you know victory but like if you don't play don't like you you don't get the feel either so our future looks bright uh, we have so yeah. having come from medicine to administration now in 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 this space of this of education so tell us what drives you i just uh, like whatever takes like humanity forward like i was just asking someone's definition of success so they said when the next generation feels that uh, the conditions are better for us that success so if something i can do which can either help directly or indirectly 
like make people like better at scale not like mm. you help like five people treat them at scale so that's what drives me so yeah that's and you're bullish on india and you feel this is something yeah. I mean, you're helping the young like achieve you know some job some whatever they dream yeah so basically like uh, that telling uh, you like we were at 3 3 and a half trillion now so uh, i think it should double very fast like double triple in next 10 15 years so yeah i am very much bullish and that's why we are creating it for india yeah. all right wonderful come let's see the office ha yeah. you very fond of your posters all of you ha huh? a lot of these yeah. posters and these are our, everywhere these are some of our youtube trophies smaller ones cross one lakh subscriber this is for 1 million subscribers wow yeah so i'll show you the 10 million one one Come. 10 million uh, so these are again like 1 1 million this All is right. like for 10 million 10 million oh, wow so that's yeah. quite incredible to see mm-hmm. all right well it's been wonderful this whole thank you so much and nice thank, you for thank you for speaking to us and uh, you know the work that you do thank you thank you all right bye bye Well that brings us to the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed that conversation. I certainly did hearing from Roman Seni about his entire journey from an from a doctor to an IS officer and then to a co-founder of one of India's largest online learning platforms an academy. I hope you enjoyed that. Do remember to continue watching Hyundai Tucson presents Bosses Day Out.